Okay, we're gonna finish um, our phonics lessons today. This is our fourth phonics lesson today with the letter S, okay? So S, as you can see, is a great letter because um, like in the video, you can have the word balloon, but when you add S to the end of the word balloons, that means you have more than one balloon. So S is a word that can make things a lot of things. I can have one cat, but if I add cat to the end of the word and I have cats with the S at the end, that means I have more than one cat, okay? So it's called making something plural or making more of something. You can add S to the end of the word, okay? So um, for this page right here, let's focus on um, the capital letter or the uppercase S and go ahead and circle it. You don't have to write it here, okay? You're just gonna look for those S's and circle them, okay? Okay, so then down here, you're going to write a capital S at the beginning of this word to make the word seagull, okay? So right now, there it goes just like that. So right now, that is one seagull, but if you wanted to, if you had wanted to draw more seagulls, then if you just add S to the end, then you would have lots of seagulls, but then you'd have to draw more seagulls there, okay? So I'm not telling you to do that, but know that that's what S does when you use it in language. When you use S at the end of many words, it makes more of something, okay? So it says color each item that begins with the S, -S sound here, okay? So we have a sock. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that some color. Sock, sock. How about cat? Cat. Does that begin with the s sound? No, it doesn't. Okay, what about soup? Soup. Well, you can see it already has the word soup written on the can. So yes, that does begin with the s letter S. So we can go ahead and give that some color. Okay, how about zipper? Zipper, does that begin with the letter S? That actually is going to begin with a Z, 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 zipper, different letter, okay? And then over here, there's our seagull again. So we can go ahead and color that because that does begin with the S sound. Okay, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and give ourselves an exit ticket on this. Close this up. Now, this is going to go back to me. So check the front. Is your name on there? Because if it doesn't have your name on there, I can't give you a grade on this, and I want to be able to give you a grade on your work. So go ahead and check the top. Make sure your name is on there. And if your name is on there and you've completed all the assignments in here, then you can go ahead and put that in your green folder. It's all done, and it's going to come back to me for grading, okay? So thank you for joining me for these phonics lessons today, boys and girls.